We're at 400 on it. Oh, I don't know. And then there's sentimental value, so that takes it up a little bit. I put higher on this than I think I should because it's off. Yeah. But it's so clean. Yeah. But a lot of things are just off right now. Even MP1 though, because he's not open. All right, cool stuff came in. We bought a, uh, what is it, Fortress of Steel from RoboForce? And then we already bought it from the guy and he, this was a little baggy, the accessories that came with it. He forgot to give it to us. So, but to be honest, the set isn't worth a whole lot. And this is better for reference to know what's included in one Fortress of Steel, to know some of the small parts that came with it. Don't get this that often. I probably haven't put out a Kenner Knight Rider in about a year. This is the driver's door is broken on all of them because I guess everybody just kept taking Michael Knight, the Hoff, out over and over and over again. So we'll be able to put that out. Silverhawks, that was another thing that came in. But like the chrome on some of these is really, so what is a steel wheel? She's a good one. And this was, he doesn't have his hat, but we probably have his hat. But that's uh, bluegrass. And the cool thing about this character is he was voiced by Larry Kenny, who was Lino. Copper Kid, I mean, the chrome is just so good on these. So this will definitely allow us to do, I mean, and these will heavily discolor and start to show the, wa the white underneath. Quicksilver. But I mean, I think he might've had a little nose rub, I think. Yeah, but I mean, that's super sharp. And there's a couple more. I mean, just really nice shape. Bunch of G.I. Joe file cards. And as Andy liked to call it, the dad cut. Because if you were a kid and you cut this, you would not cut them this nice. So he said they all had the dad cut, which is great. I mean, tons. And then, you know, some file cards for like Voltron, Robeast, or some of the Cops and Crooks line. Which we're, speaking of Cops and Crooks. Oh, and he brought that yesterday. But it's Captain Power. It ain't worth a whole lot, but it's super minty. Collection he brought. So with this and what we've already have in the back, I think we'll be able to do a cops display now. But even out of everything he did bring, not, none of them are complete. And that's the problem, putting together complete cops. Gabriel Lone Ranger, that came in. Stirrups, both guns, pretty cool. You know, your other option would be is go to my show in November, Retro Toy Con, oh, have I you do. been? I do. Yeah, and yeah, do, bring it to the lobby swap. Yep. Yeah, well, we'll see you yeah. in November at Retro. I, I'm going to try. It depends on work because I know, you know, it's on, you know, Saturday, Sunday, I believe. But I did say that I'm going on November 17th to the 19th. Yeah. I'm going to try to make sure I'm not working that weekend. Definitely come up. All right, cool. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, did you look at that? That's really white. Pretty white. Pretty. But I don't see the clip. Um... Now I have to inspect it. Further, other side. It's open on the other. Ooh. Yeah, but I always service merchandise. <laughs> so I'm looking for. There's a little clip. There's a little piece right there. If you don't have it, I have it. But that's that's that that's the rare or part. Is it like anything like? It's no. That's all the armor. Okay. It's. Is it still on the table back there? Yeah, this one's also missing the, uh, the instructions. The box isn't in the best shape. That's pretty good. That's really white. So I'm just trying to see if it's this somewhere else. So that should. I'm James Wellman. Uh, I brought in some older toys that I had. Uh, a lot of Transformers. Um, Got a lot more stuff that I kind of wanted to, wasn't sure how much it would be worth. And I knew these guys, they know what they're talking about. Um, and I've, I've, I've come up here several times and worked with them. They've just been really great. And they've helped me out a lot. And 
I just wanted to bring everything that, you know, I had in my childhood, bring it up here and maybe they can spread it around to some collectors or maybe some kids and let them enjoy it. Yeah, it's right over here. Are there these? You found it? It may be in here. There is something in here. It'll be this. Oh, oh no. It's just okay. Yeah, but those are part of the oh, the leg armor. Oh, yeah. Okay. And that's part of the yeah. to read the spec. No. But yeah, no, it's just this. So this is a. What does it fit in? It goes on the leg, I believe, and it allows you oh, to store. It. It's a gun clip to allow you to hold it uh, when it's not in a. I think when it's not in robot mode. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, not unless it's under. Yeah. See, and it would just it would just be just like that. Kind of hate to get rid of it. I'm, I don't know. I just want to see what y'all could do. But I got a bunch of other good stuff too. Some of it's older, and some of it's you know just within the last two decades, I guess. Okay. Well, let me let me just put this back so I don't lose these. The best thing I probably brought in today would be that jet fire. That uh, 1984 or 85 uh, jet, Transformers jet fire, sky fire, depends on who you ask <laughs> what the name is. Um, there was an old uh, old episode of Transformers where the name was a little different than what they had on there. But uh, but yeah, I just I just love coming up here and seeing all the great stuff that's in here. It's great. This is G1. I, yep. I not think commemorative. He's all in there. Yeah. Except maybe. Well, I'm not seeing the landing gear. No mis uh, no yeah, but no launchers. missiles either. Yeah, missiles, landing gear. Yeah, so it's just the jet. Oh, jet the missiles. and the wings. Oh, the arm missiles. No about. Yeah. I think uh, they're fatter. That goes with Rambo. Rambo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I brought that. You can have oh, that. Oh, and uh, all right, good. The Norris on the seat. These, I think I sold them to you last week. That goes with the. Uh, oh, did we get the, three of them from you? Dive bomb. Two heads. The dive bomb and the, the leader. The other guy. Okay. Right now, I can't think of them. The tiger. Yep. Yeah, we need those. So, yes, yeah, so all that goes with them. And then a blur. And I don't know if he had a gun with him. He did. Yeah, but the shield's usually broke. Yeah. And so those two versions, the power or the, the target master and then the regular. This that would be the regular. This is the regular. Yeah. Small. Just hold it. Galvatron. Yeah, these are nice. We bought a really nice Transformer club. Oh, look at, you know what that uh -huh. is, right? <laughs> <laughs> I saw your video. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I have one. So you just had this and nothing else? No, I've got, I've got the rest of it, but it's not in good shape. Right. <laughs> and I was like, wow, I wonder if I could get a good book for that. <laughs> yeah. That's so, yeah, this is the finger puppet, or not the puppet, or what, what is What's it? A finger it? thimble? Yeah. Finger? yeah, it's not the finger from the hive. <laughs> from the hive, like said. That's yeah. probably the most valuable piece of the hive. Right. Because <laughs> it doesn't look like anything. Yeah, it yeah. It doesn't, you know, go with everything. It, it was right. in my Transformers, so. <laughs> <laughs> we had it in the old store for the longest time, didn't know what it was. Really? <laughs> it was, I just didn't have a whole lot of sectars knowledge. Yeah. I still don't. <laughs> well, Outside of the hive. I, I mean, we we know we know the weapons when we see them. We just don't oh, right. know which guy. We have to look it up because it's a lot. That's a you. And then I got a couple of wrestling things, which I didn't even know I had that. I don't know when I got that. It's cool. Yeah, right? so Jack's Pacific, man. It's, yeah. It's a very nice display. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very nice. And then we got uh, a John Cena. And I think this was like right when they first did the Elite Series. Yeah, I don't know. I, Maybe. Still, I can't see him. Is it Jack? <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's not in there. <laughs> you can't see him. See him. Uh, these, yeah, these are, all right, these, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know if. Um, Just toys. I mean, they're they're cool. I, I never was a bendy guy though. <laughs> Me either. I never, even the Star Wars, I like Star Wars. I don't care for Star Wars bendies. Yeah, yeah. Good old Toys R Us. The bat missile. This was cool. So this is the, not the DVD one. The yes, DVD the one has the base. Yep. Yeah, this is the first one. Right. The one I got. So the black gun, not the blue gun. No base. It's all about that base. <laughs> and the Matrix leadership. 
Okay, so then you have this, I think I know, but I'm going to double check. About two or three weeks in a row, and on July the 4th, I came up here. Um, but yeah, I brought up some, uh, I'm trying to think. There was a lot of dino rider stuff. Um, my, my parents, they, uh, they kept everything that I had. They, um, they kept the boxes pristine and everything, and they stored them. They stored them away in a, a building out back in the backyard. And unfortunately, rain come in on top of it, and it messed up a lot of the stuff. So a lot of the stuff that I had boxes for, they're just ruined. So, But everything that I can salvage out of there, I try to bring up here and see what these guys think of it. It's none of the big heavy hitters and there's probably a lot of glare, but everything this guy collected was so mint and so complete that, you know, the accessories will still be on the sprue. And I'm not gonna pretend to be knowledgeable on naming all these guys, because I just do not know. That's how rare we get these in, because they're all gonna be really bizarre. Like Patera, maybe this is a Patera, I don't know what this one is. But yeah, I, don't, I don't know if it's going to be all glare or not. But again, you know, the pieces on the sprue. So we got one, two. This one was kind of, this is a more basic one. And that probably just sat too long in a bag. Just get a blow dryer on that. So that was that one. These were just bonus extra pieces. And then there's another one. Let's see, you just have to be so careful. Ah. But super clean, almost like never played with. Stuff on the sprue. See, these will, will these hook on will break? Those will break. I'm hoping for cash. Um, I also have some stuff out in the car. I have another bin of some stuff. And if this goes well, I might trade that. Is the other trade or this one's cash and the this other might be trade? This one's cash, the other one might be trade or I might keep the other, it just depends. I don't know if I'll get very much. So why well, show, well. He well, talked about it. Yeah, the Dino Riders yeah. we got from you. Yeah, yeah. And, the, and all that paperwork. Yeah, paperwork. And I got yeah. all. I still got it under my desk. I found some more stuff. Ooh, yes. Uh, apparently, my dad, on all the action figures, uh, like even the GoBots and stuff, he cut out like um, trying to think. The Super GoBots, they had like a, a little. Right, right. Yeah, they gate open up. Open. Yeah, yep. gate fold, and it had their little bio inside there. He cut all that off and saved it. Oh wow. Yeah. Either he did or my mom did. She said. You know, how do you know I didn't do it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Do you remember? The funny thing is, uh, when I showed the Joe file cards to Andy, yeah, Andy's like, these are dad cuts. <laughs> They're perfect, aren't they? Yeah, because no kid would cut it that good. <laughs> no. So he's like, these are dad cuts. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really not sure. I'm not sure how much all that's going to be worth. I know a lot of it is just from like maybe 2007, 2008. Where, where, where are you? So, yeah, yeah, it puts it at uh, that. So, that? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, we're at 400 on that. Oh, I don't know. And then there's sentimental values, so that takes it up a little bit. Uh, I'm just kidding. Well, I mean, <laughs> I put higher on this than I think I should because it's off. Yeah. But it's so clean. Yeah. But a lot of things are just off, right? Now. Even MP1, though, because he's not open. MP1. Never been open. Isn't that Masterpiece yeah. 1 Prime? Yeah. Well, you you looked him up. Yeah. I, mean, I, think, he was, I think on the high end, he's about $100. Well, they, they released three versions. 
So they take turns which one's popular. Right now, it's not because it comes. I'll throw this. that in. It's four, and you keep the guy in your hand. There you go. Damn. All right, there you go. <laughs> but now I want to see the other stuff. What's he filming? Is Devin back there playing the game? Yeah, <laughs> All right, let me go grab another. All right. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Retro Toy Con. X-Men VIP party. These are all of the items you're going to get. Extremely limited. It's going to be super fun. All the X-Men will be there, including the creators. It's going to be awesome. You get this killer pizza box. We're, we're trying to recreate the Pizza Hut theme thing they did in the 90s. So you get this. You get this kid's cup. Super cool. Placemat. You do the little maze, find Miss Marvel. And then we're doing these trading card sets. So one of these cards will come randomly signed. So you might get a Rub Jubilee, you might get a Rogue, you might get a Miss Marvel, a Beast, Wolverine. Uh, there's an autograph spot on the back where it will be signed. So one of you will randomly get one of these. And then there will also be a sketch card in here that will be blank for you to go to one of the artists at the show or maybe even have one of the X-Men do a doodle. Pioneer, you can't hear sounds like this anymore. Oh yeah, they're gonna crap for this. So you might, where, so that I'm taking, I don't know what it is, but I'm buying this. Yeah, so I'm going to get this and then send the rest over to okay. four doors down, right? upstate games.